Welcome to today's live stream. Today we're going to go through the, the timber jig and the timber jig with the guide rail package. And uh, before we start out with doing the, the demos today, uh, please visit our website uh, logosol.com or our Facebook uh, Logosol Portable Sawmills and uh, also uh, to see uh, previous YouTube uh, live demos visit our YouTube channel, uh, Logosol Portable Sawmills. Um, to today, you can see here, we, we're gonna run the, the timber jig uh, separately here, and then the timber jig with the guide rail package uh, over here. And we have, in the previous, previous Swedish demo, we, we've made a couple of cuts already on, on that log, so we're gonna continue on that. Um, before we start out, do you want to add something, Karin? Oh, we have our new colleague here, yes. uh, Anton. Hello. Uh, and you haven't tried out the uh, timber jig and timber jig with no, so guide rail before. So it's been, it's been a, an authentic first time experience here that you will be seeing on this live stream. Absolutely. So hopefully <laughs> you have a lot of good questions for us. I hope so, I hope yeah. so. Uh, and if you... Uh, uh, who are looking, uh, have any questions, please feel free to write them in the chat. It works both on uh, YouTube and Facebook, and we will answer to them yes. during the live stream. And if you have comments or so. Mm. Yes, perfect. So uh, let's get started. Let's get started. Uh, so we can, uh, I thought we could uh, begin just showing how the timber jig is uh, how the chainsaw is mounted on the timber jig and you can see you have two uh, normal uh, guide bar nuts here and uh, you can loosen these you can do some close ups uh, to that you can show So what you do is, you can see here, we have replaced the normal guide bar nuts here with two extension nuts. Uh, and these go into the jig. So we slide this through. And then you have a little slot here. And then you use the normal knots on this side to to secure it to the the jig uh, and there are on some uh, uh, chainsaws you have uh, captive guide bar knots uh, for example uh, on the a lot of the new chainsaws Today, uh, the guide bar nuts uh, are captive inside the cover, so mm -hmm. you might need to get a replacement cover. Um, we get them uh, on, on the chainsaws that we provide, the, the steel chainsaws, the covers, uh, they're already mounted with covers where you can remove the guide bar nuts. Uh, but that's an important because you need the requirements to make it fit a, a timber jig is that the, the chainsaw has two guide bar bolts uh, and that you can remove the guide bar nuts from the sprocket cover. Uh, and we also recommend that the chainsaw is at least over 50 cc uh, and preferred, you know, the, with this it's a, the, the bigger the better pretty much because it only only increase the, the you know, kind of the, the cutting speed. Mm. Yeah. So we'll we'll secure this. And when you're starting out now with the timber jig, you you begin using a simple wooden rail like this that we prepared um, and you mount this on the log and you 
steer the jig on, on this little rail for the first few cuts and then you only use the, the jig itself. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to measure the size of the beam that we can get out of this this log and then we measure from the center of the log and with this one we might get uh, maybe a three and a half yeah maybe maybe we can even get an eight inch we'll see if we can get a an eight inch there and now what we also want to do is uh, we need to know where we should mount this wooden rail to start off uh, so then you want to know the the distance from the rollers here up to the the guide bar and then we can just measure here see where we're at it's about 60 mil and then we have to take into account mm. the thickness of the board here uh, and this I assume this is a 45 mil board yeah it's about 105 so what we're going to do now is we'll mount this with one screw and then we use the leveler to make sure we get a that it's it's uh, level I'm gonna take perfect this. Eller, we'll measure from now. Measure from here. About 105. And if you assist me here, Anton. Perfect. We mount this here. Yep. Should I fasten it with the with the screwdriver? If you use that one and I'll just hold and just put it you can put it on one of the sides just like here yeah perfect and then we check it's this with one with the spirit level we're checking that it's completely straight there we go perfect let's put in the take, second screw. take the next one Perfect. And it's still leveled, so it's it's really good. It's bang on. Bang on. <laughs> and then we'll we'll go on the other side here and we do the same. Perfect. So we measure here. So what you are showing now is what you do when you have uh, timber jig without the guide rail. Package. Exactly, exactly. And just to be clear, you put the four in the middle, enable to measure out an eight eight inch block. Exactly. So we measure from the center of the of okay. the log because you they, you know, they're always a little bit. In most times, they're mo a little bit tapered, so you have to compensate for that a little bit. Then we can put the level, spirit level here again. We can we can just fasten it first on one side. All right. A little bit. And then we we'll check with the about there. Perfect.
and then Where's the lid for the pen? we'll mount this rail here. So here it's basically two boards that we have just put them together into this L, L shape, which you then can use as a exactly. guide so rail. So you can see that the, the jig can move, move on this, move against this, Fantastic. this edge here. So we'll, what we'll do then is we'll attach the rail to the, the end pieces there. Yeah. Well, I show that again and, and step two steps aside. What if, you if you put uh, so on the rail again, yes. it, it's what hard to see. The camera is behind you. Oh, sorry, yeah. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so. so you can see here that you move it, can move it against this rail here. So against this L shape, so you got, uh, you know, uh, uh, added steering of the jig. Uh, and uh, we secure that. There we go. There, and what we can do now uh, to avoid working on on our knees like this, we can tilt this piece a just a little bit, so we can work a little bit more upright. And do we have we have a little little wedge here? We can maybe there attach, and then. You could see what I did here as well, just to make sure that the chainsaw stays clear of the top pair of the log. I just raised this dimensioning plate when we're starting out. Hmm. Um, and now I saw Anton, you could make the your your initial cut here. Perfect. And uh, you just have to start up the saw now. And we can see, we can also check if we want. We're pretty pretty close to where we made the, the marks here. So we can see that we're pretty uh -huh. pretty well off. How do we lost second? Oh, I don't in there. Do you have any glass second? I don't know where it was. I thought it was here. So here you have the. I have the. You have them. You have them. So we just need some uh, protection glasses. I go and get some. Oh. All right. But we, what we can do, we can prepare just to start up the saw now. Perfect. And now it's a little bit cold, so th and this saw has been resting a little bit now. So you can put it down to the choke, the bottom position here. Press down this. Uh, compression button and then you can start it either like this yeah pull start it uh, uh, which I would recommend or between the legs right or between the legs yes yeah and no, but I would also would also prefer to have it on the ground yeah yeah so here we go
Perfect. There, so we've made the first cut now. And now, Never mind. Thank you. <laughs> and now um, we're going to make uh, the second cut. And this time we can use this surface. So we're going to, to loosen these, uh, these here. It's just fantastic how easy it is to make boards with uh, such a simple construction. Yes. Take that off and then... There. Put them here. On this, and the this last way. one. So now we can turn this a little bit towards us here. Yes. Just a bit more like that. More? Oh, it might might be okay. Perfect. And now. We're going to attach it straight here. So we're just going to see a little bit where we're going to attach it. So if we help each other just to measure this. Yeah. If you go on, on that side and then we look, we lift this up, and just hold it here. A little bit towards you. I just want to measure it there so we can see where the fur if lower it lower it a little bit. In the meanwhile I, I can tell about a new competition that we have. You can win a gift card with value of 150 euros. And uh, the first fifth the entries will uh, receive a cool cap from Logosol. So what should you do? Post your photos uh, yeah. or a film of your best construction project. Uh, done with a Logosol machine, of course. Lift this up. Uh, and tag uh, Logosol or send it to live at logosol.com. Uh, and this co will continue for two weeks, so the winner will be announced on Monday, March the 8th. So good luck. luck. We are looking forward to see your photos and videos of your uh, Logosol project. It will be really cool to see. We've seen, uh, we can see a lot of photos on social media, so we know they are out there, yeah, so send them to us. <laughs> Just measure this. What a great competition. Yeah. So within the, within, if you're within the first 50, you're guaranteed to at least win a cap. Yeah, oh, cool. That's Love amazing. Cap. That's a good price for a cap. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah. So hopefully we will have some photos or videos to show uh, in the live streams in the future, perhaps uh, in two weeks then. Wow. 50 photos or videos, that will be a long live stream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so nice to see what everyone is doing with their with the Logosol equipment, because yeah. there are so many possibilities and uh, projects and dreams that you can realize, so it's... Yeah, you get super inspired. Yeah, really. really. Yeah. That's pretty good. So now we'll make the, the second cut. And what we've done here now, 
is the same as when we started out. We counted in the height from the jig up to the bar and accounted for the thickness of this board. So we're trying to kind of get as, as minimal waste as possible, but still get a clean beam out of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so you can, you can start it out and make the next, next cut. There we go. Tror jag kommer behöva tjocken. Nej, jag tror nästan det går bra nu på ettan. Perfect. Perfect. So oh. Now we made two cuts now. And now we can Oh there it is. Remove the wooden guide rail. What model of the steel the, is it on the steel chainsaw? This one question. What's that? The model of the saw. Yeah. It, what model is it? So this is a MS uh, 661, which is uh, one of our more, more uh, powerful chainsaws. Yeah. It's a, a really nice one, I would say. Yeah. And uh, you can really tell how by how easy it goes through the material. It's super smooth. It's uh, really powerful. Yeah. So now you can see we have three we have two uh, two sides left uh, and now we can actually use the the timber jig uh, on its own for the, for this cut. So wow. if we tilt this around like that perfect. What we can do now is we can set with this dimensioning plate here, here, we can adjust the thickness so we get a, a, a clean cut underneath. Uh, and you can see if we measure now, you can see here we have Yeah, we can put it at about seven inches. I think we can get a decent cut at about seven inches. So if you adjust this on the scale here, yeah. on the front, you can see... Oh, sorry. Uh, you can see there you want to... Where do you want to put it? If you on, on seven, on seven. Inch, yes. So if you lower it a little bit to seven, oh, okay, like that. There. So, there. so the cut you are go nice about to do now is uh, will decide the width of the can. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. Exactly. Uh, and what? So this we're basically making the last cut before making proper boards. 
Yes, yes. And if we even if we could even make like a six inch because it, this this log is now in like a, we've cut a little wedge for it to to lie on. So we could actually just take it down to about six inches just to avoid cutting into to okay. that piece. So we'll just lower it a little bit. So the boards we'll be making later will be in six inch width. Yes. Oh, yes. Perfect. So now we'll we'll start it up yep. and make the the third cut. will do I could see that the it was a little bit too deep on the on the groove here we'll put the there I think it's fine now so we restart it I saw you you we oh, cut almost cut the bark there. yeah the the jig would have gone into this little piece here so we'll raise we'll just restart now and put will it in will we have the same problem here yeah but we'll, <laughs> we'll, we can adjust that when we come there so okay. that that's no problem <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Great job, Anton. <laughs> <laughs> what, what did you say there, Karin? Great job, Anton. Oh, yes. thank you. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> so now we've cut this little off cut off. And we have... Soon you will have your first board. Yeah. yeah but, uh, uh, it's, it's absolutely astonishing how... How how uh, how small of an equipment it is, yeah. and uh, still how versatile it is and easy to use. Yeah. So with this small accessory, you can really transform your chainsaw into a portable sawmill. Yeah. Yes. Ultra portable. Ultra portable. You can uh, bring it wherever you want. <laughs> and it's also a pretty small investment, so it's yeah. Uh, yeah. It's definitely worth it if you want to make boards. Like, wow. Yeah. 
Uh, and a lot of customers, we can see that, uh, have a timber jig and perhaps a big balsam mill so they yeah. can have the uh, bring it uh, out in the forest or to on different jobs or, yeah. and so yeah. on. Because it's bring, so, it brings a lot so of versatility. It, yeah. So it's very useful for many types of customers. Yeah. Amazing. We have a question here. Yes. Hi, I have a steel 036. Would it have enough power to use for ripping? Uh, steel, sir. Well, I think that's that's so. If I'm not mistaken, is around 60 cc or some, somewhere in that 60 or 70 cc. So as as long as, as it's over 50, it'll work. But if you have a saw that's 60 or 70 uh, or 80, it's just gonna make the process a little bit faster. Uh, and and for example, this saw here is just over 90 cc, so it's quite a lot to. Mm. You have a lot of power, and and <coughs> if you're cutting just a few logs, it's mm -hmm. fine to use a smaller chain. So, but if you do it more regularly, you'll soon want to go a little bit faster and a little bit faster. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So. So it depends on um, what you are uh, about to do. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, and also the the what we're using here, I didn't say that in the beginning, but we're using a low profile chain, which has a 1.3 millimeter gauge, so it's a, a, a little bit thinner chain, uh, just to get the less waste in the kerf, uh, and also it's a ripping chain, so it's a 10 degree angle, mm. so it gives you a little bit of a smoother cut as well. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, it looks really nice surface. Yeah. yeah. Great result. Okay, fire it up and make your first yeah. so board. So now <laughs> you can decide now which <laughs> thickness you want to cut for the first board that you're cutting. I would say out. a two inch board would be perfect. Two inch board, then we'll go for that. Yeah. <laughs> Since uh, it's so then standard it in, in a lot of projects. Yes. So. That's true. <coughs> so we get a lot of greetings. It's from uh, hello from Germany, Slovenia, Chile, and also this? Slovak. That's great that you are watching no, two uh, inch, our yeah, live stream. Yeah. I was two centimeters. Perfect. And then we tighten it quite. Yeah, it's nice tight. and it's nice and tight. You can see. Ah, perfect. So I, uh, then I'll fire it up. Make the first board. The first, first board. There we go. Oh, wow. That's a, it's a nice cut. Yeah. Yeah. Bring it home and put it on your wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My first cut with the timber jig. <laughs> hang up on the living, yes. living yeah. room the wall. Premier cut. <laughs> yeah. Yes. 
Perfect. Yeah. How how did you f feel? Uh, how uh, what what did you think of these different steps? Uh, the, the, it, it felt like you got on pretty fast. Yeah, it's it, yeah. it's really simple and uh, easy to use, and I think just the the very lightness of just uh, using the the jig itself. Yes. Uh, it brings a lot to the milling. It's yeah really nice. And you you pull start the saw a lot better than me because you're you're weightlifting, <laughs> so you're a lot stronger than me. It looked very easy. Yeah. Yes. But uh, no, I, I really like working with it because it's so it's so light and uh, yeah, not so clumsy. No, exactly. And and you can bring it if you if you need to bring the you know a jig like this to where the if the logs are placed in a, in where it's difficult to. to move them out to a saw bench or something yeah. like that it's ideal to to use and you can cut pretty much any length you want as well so it's very yeah. handy that way yeah yeah and also when you're using just the jig it's really no limitations so if you have a ready-made block for instance it's yeah you're just good to go <laughs> yeah 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 a and the tim jig also comes in a very neat small package so it's easy for us to ship whatever you like. So are you interested? Please look into the website logosol.com yes. uh, where you can find prices and more information. And also contact details uh, to us here in Sweden and also to the dealers and distributors all around the world. Yes. Uh, so now we've done some milling with just the timber jig. Uh, and over here we have the big mill, uh, the former bi big mill basic, and now the, the timber jig with guide rail package. Yeah. Um, and it's 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 very similar to actually to the one where you use the wooden guide rail, but you have a benefit here that the, the rail is always perfectly straight. Uh, and it's also a benefit with these uh, guide rail supports here, uh, because they allow you to to turn each cut 90 degrees and continue uh, cutting the log into a square. Oh. So uh, we can see here that uh, you use the same type of jig, but when you purchase this system here with the rail, you also get these uh, guides here with uh, you have plastic slides attached into them so when you mount it on the rail it, it rests on the back flange and and you can just slide it along could you maybe show the flange f for the camera there yes so yes we can s zoom no that's not is it this so you can see here, uh, it shows maybe a little bit small there. You can see here these small plastic slides. Uh, but other than that, it, it, it it's the same mm. type of jig. But they give extra support to the on the bar then, so it's a... Yes, like and you, especially you, you get more support and less uh, other movements when exactly. And when when you tilt it like this, it kind of self rests on the on the guide rail ah, by the weight of the saw. Yeah, so you just have to push it push it along. Uh, but we can see here now they've already made a a cut here, so we need to to uh, turn this log around a little bit and then adjust uh, the rails uh, and I'm going to show you how we do that. Yeah, and we can make some close-ups so we can see. Just a second, Pelle. Yes. And just to clarify the different packages, there are one package with the guide rail, timber jig with guide rail package and one guide rail package. So if you already have a timber jig, you can just uh, buy the guide rail package. Mm. Yes. 
so it's really easy to add on yeah. whilst yeah. you have it. Yeah. Oh, it starts to snow. Huh. Nice. Fantastic. Okay, we are ready for. So now we want to turn this system around because we, we still have two sides here that haven't been cut yet. Uh, so then you loosen this, this flange uh, or, or wing, wing nut a little bit. On both sides? Yes, on both sides. And then we can turn it turn it around. I just have to sit stuck. So oh, these guys they are just uh, screwed with four screws in the middle of the log. There we go. From the beginning. Now isn't that neat? So here you it's can see <laughs> that the plate here that sits in the middle has these slots. So yeah. when you move it to the next, you get a 90 degree angle and you can just uh, continue the, the milling. So it makes it very easy to change. Yes, yeah. yes. Instead of, you know, as we did with, uh, we're using only the, the timber jig, you have to use, uh, for the first couple of cuts, you have to use the wooden guide rail instead, mm, yeah. which takes a little bit more time. And now mm. you, we didn't even have to measure or anything in order to get the 90 degree cuts. Exactly. So it's super simple, just turn the, the rail. Yes. And you're set. And now we just have to turn the log itself just so we get it on the right position. And the rail comes in uh, three meter pieces that you put together. Perfect. And we can move this little piece so the guide bar doesn't, doesn't touch the... Yeah. Oh, but we can also mention that it's, uh, it, as you said, the standard is three meters, but we can also extend it to suit... suit uh, as long as you like. The project <laughs> in hand. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's really handy as well, because as we said, the standard length is three meters, but it comes in one... The, the, the guide rail bar comes in one meter pieces, so it's really easy to transport and also to storage. Mm. Yeah. It fits in a easily in the trunk of any car, for instance. Standard car, yeah. yeah. And they are made out of aluminum, so they are very light and durable. Yes. Are you... Do you like to show the height, height adjustments adjustment, yeah. in the same time? So, at the same time? if we look here, we have a little, little key here. That we and a trapezial bar where we can set the, the height. Um, and for example, if we mount the saw now, we probably make the cut around here, so we get quite a lot of waste. Mm -hmm. uh, so in this instance, we want to raise the rail on, on both sides. And you can see here on the inside, uh, we have a little scale, so you can see. I don't know if you can see it with the so. camera there. Uh, so you can see which measurement you're on. So now we'll remove the key and we'll raise it to, I think we'll raise this one to maybe five. Yeah, and you could say it's almost the same system as we have on the chainsaw mill. Every step is a quarter of an inch. Yes. <laughs> Just have to see here what it says. And the measurements are fix, fixed as well, so it's, it's yeah. easy to get the so, so precise So for making one, dimensions. one inch board, you raise four steps and add one step for the curve. Well, exactly. There. Should I do the do, uh, do the same over here? Yes. Yeah. Five. 
five and a quarter. Yeah, but that's good. So if you set it to five and a quarter, yep. I think that'd be pretty. Okay. Can we go over to the other Lars? So five and a quarter. Here we have the the indicate indicator. So it should be around here. You can slide it in in the right position and just lower it then. That should be good. Oh, oh yeah. So let's see if yeah. we have any questions yes. or comments. Nein. Where am I now? Can you? That's five. Yeah, and a you're quarter. correct. Yeah. You're correct. Then we just lower it there. Perfect. There, and then just tighten that. What is the maximum diameter for? Sixty. Sixty. Yes. Centimeters. Yes. Yeah. I, I've actually, I've cut some logs that have been a little bit bigger than that as well. The, the only thing you can notice is that when you have a longer bar, the bar will hang a little bit more by its own weight. Mm -hmm. uh, so you, you, especially if you're cutting wide boards from a little bit bigger log, uh, then you can see that the deviations gets a little bit bigger. Uh, but other than that, it's, it's no problem to cut logs a little bit bigger than 60 as well. Yeah. No. But but we have a question about one meter diameter. So, uh, oh, okay, one meter. In that case, we recommend the big mill system for yeah. wide slabs. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And we have made several uh, live streams with the big mill systems as, as well. Perfect. Uh, yeah, and the big mill systems are they're, they're available with different lengths as well, depending on on the size that from around a meter to almost two meters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so. Um, Should we start it up again? Yes. And, and it'll be with, with the other one now because we have the, oh, yeah. the guides on, on this one. And then you can check that you're okay with the height here. So you can see we don't get that much waste with this cut as well. It's a pretty good, good height. So now you can, you can start. Do we, do we need the the choke. Start this up now. Here.
There we go. That's great. So now we have three sides milled. Yeah. So we can start making boards. Exactly. Turn Perfect. around the last last time now. First, Anton, I, I think we have a comment or a question in, in Spanish here. If you could have a look. Oh, so. Hola, ¿eso funciona para cerrar tierras de largas de 6 metros? Sí. Como hemos dicho, eh, la longitud estándar es de 3 metros, pero es posible extenderlo a cualquier longitud. Así que 6 metros es, no es un problema. And also give him a tip that we will have a live stream in Spanish yeah, yeah. in 30 minutes. A las seis vamos a hacer un live stream en español y con mi amigo Per aquí y vamos a demostrar la, la misma cosa. Así que las tres maneras más comunes de usar, usar el eh, timber jig. Great. Vamos. Thanks. <laughs> so now we'll, we'll turn it around for the last time. So, there. And should we put it backwards or forwards? We, we'll put it forwards, yeah. Depends on how you see it. Yeah. Well, yeah. Back and forward. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what I meant. <laughs> Are we going to make a, a solid block or start yeah. making boards? Yeah. <laughs> there we go. And this will be really be nice and tight, right? Yes, yes. You want this nice and tight. Perfect. And then we'll we'll just turn this around a little bit. There we go. So there. And now we can we can just check. Should we put it again at uh, five and a quarter. Yeah, we can see. I think we probably. Oh, it's the wrong saw here. Yeah, the the Husqvarna one. It's hard to choose between <laughs> all chainsaws. So many good ones. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a buffet over yeah. here. Of <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we can lower it like two quarters. Two quarters. Yeah. Okay, then I take the opportunity to uh, to tell you about the competition again. Uh, from today, you can compete and uh, win a gift card. The value is uh, 150 euros. So send us your photos and videos of your best Logosol project. Uh, and the first 50... Um, will also get a cool Logosol cap. Uh, so you can compete on uh, Instagram, Logosol Portable Sawmills, or send us an email with your photos and videos uh, to the uh, email address live at logosol.com. What an opportunity. Yeah. We look forward to see your best photos and projects. That will yeah. be great. Uh, and also the um, winner will be announced on the live stream Monday the 8th. So two weeks from now. So tune in then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there. So. Final cut. Final cut. Let's go.
That's great, Anton. Perfect. Great. Yeah. Oh, I think that was the, the best cut yet. A yeah. really nice log. Yeah, it felt really nice. Yeah. And uh, it's also, it, it, it is a bit of a difference between the, 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 this guide bar and the wooden one. I mean, the wooden one is it's nice to work with, but this one is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. It's really good, I think, wh when you have the um, aluminum uh, thing that holds yeah, the saw ones. to the rail. These ones, yeah. 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 Yeah, it makes it a lot lot easier. Yeah. Because when you're only having the, the wooden rail, it's easier that you change the angle slightly when you're milling compared to mm -hmm. this. Yeah. It's more Maybe we can get uh, just a close-up on the surface. Yeah. It's really nice. Just a second. I can hear you are a bit pride. Uh, I am yeah. very proud. <laughs> you made some good proud cuts then. there. Yeah. yeah, I'm very proud. Yeah. It's, a, it's a nice result and uh, it's amazing that you can use such a small equipment and still get these type of results. So it's a really nice surface. Okay, good. Fantastic. We have some questions. Okay. Are you ready for that? Can you see them? Uh, okay, yeah, we got, you can see here we have some questions now. Uh, in a Model Pro, can I cut a table one meter diameter in a single piece? Yeah, but yeah, we replied to that one with the big What was that? The qu ah, yeah, okay, yeah. all right, okay. Uh, and now we got uh, uh, Ladislav Michalek from Slovakia. Uh, says, hello Karin, Perle and Anton. I will shoot the video as soon as the log comes. We currently have a hard lockdown and I'm waiting for delivery of the log. I have been waiting for two weeks. Hello uh, and uh, uh, greetings uh, uh, Ladislav Michalek. We, we say hello here from snowy Sweden. Yeah. And we look forward to you with to your video. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you. It will be a, a good uh, thing for the competition. Yes. Yeah, of course. Absolutely. Uh, and then we got a question here: which model of the steel? And that's the steel. Yeah, but, but we have already. I, I think we are down to. Here. To these. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, here we have any special chain for this device can I use a regular one greetings from Portugal uh, you can use a normal chain but we uh, use uh, uh, ripping chains uh, for all these uh, configurations and the difference is that the, the tooth angle is 10 degrees instead of 30-35 degrees uh, and we also use a low pro chain which is um, a little bit thinner so it's easier for the saw and you get less waste when you're milling uh, mm. so they're called PMX chains and, and uh, the, the ones we use and, and steel is the manufacturer of them um, uh, and we got a thank you from Italy from uh, Mr. Dante Banfi uh, he he uh, thanked us for the video today, and we also uh, got uh, uh, a thank you here from Bello Ulumavada Milare Ibrahim. Thank you for the video, uh, and I I do really learned a lot from it. Yeah, and nice thank you hear. for watching. Yeah, thank you. For thank watching. you for watching. Uh, no, uh, P M X, not P N X. So. Peter Michael Santares. 
<laughs> so um, it's uh, just a, it's pretty much like a normal crosscut chain, but the difference is that the the tooth is much straighter than a than a, a crosscut uh, chain have. Um. Det är neråt Pelle i så fall. Vi har redan besvarat. Det var en kvar längst ner tror jag. Efter svärdet känner. Yeah, but I, I answered him. He, he had a question regarding the chain there. Ah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so I think that's all the questions for today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, Anton, you did a great job. No, oh, thank you. Milling. And uh, um, uh, we hope you, you check out uh, next Monday uh, the, the live demo. Wh what's the live demo for next week? I can't remember now, but it's Milling Monday. So Milling we Monday. will <laughs> cut some beautiful logs and yes, yes. some interesting and we will Machines. yeah we'll uh, but look into the facebook or youtube we have uh, the whole schedule yes. there and uh, for spanish uh, speaking uh, countries we welcome you for the next live demo that starts in about 15 minutes or so yeah 6 o'clock yeah 20 minutes 20 minutes <laughs> <laughs> empieza a live stream in español Yes. So uh, thank you for today. And if you want any more information about these systems, please visit logosol.com uh, or our uh, uh, Facebook page, Logosol Portable Sawmills, and check out more of our uh, previous live demos at uh, uh, on YouTube at uh, Logosol Portable Sawmills. Yeah. Take care and see you next Monday. See you next Monday. See you next Monday. Thank you guys. It's been awesome to be out here with you today. <laughs> Likewise. Likewise. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.